Pluto is a distant and unobtrusive, more honest planet that was once a piece of our nearby planetary structure. At any rate, advancing disturbing statements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They suggested that this far-off world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this be possible? Furthermore, what might be the outcomes of such an enormous event? Are we seeing a confusing, gigantic caprice? Or is there something else to this oncoming perpetual disaster? Join us as we take a look at the possible results of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was renamed as a dwarf planet, remains a subject of interest in studies of the vast universe, as indicated by ongoing speculations by leading experts. Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising alarms about a possible hazardous incident between these two planets, which could pose an immense threat to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It requires a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. Nevertheless, the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its distinctly curved shape, wandering widely from the nearly round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more striking is its inclination, which is 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is far more eccentric compared to other planets. This inclination and irregularity add layers of complexity to its orbital arrangement. Perhaps one of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its interaction with Neptune's. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually moves closer to the Sun than Neptune, contradicting what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the usual question. Why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of various planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, space scientists tried to figure out its unusual path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep inclination and irregular shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit is a testament to its ability to endure these complexities. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and affect each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complicated way. The terms non-concurrent libration, orbital precession, and VZK wobbling are crucial to this question, as explained by astrophysicists. What keeps all planets in their orbits is non-synchronous libration. Regarding Pluto and Neptune, this term essentially means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is situated at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from intersecting. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is situated far above their orbital plane, adding an extra layer of security from potential crashes. Another key factor in this situation is the VZK wobbling, named after three researchers, Zell and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It involves how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling affects how they move. In Pluto's case, the VZK wobbling helps us understand why its orbit near the Sun is so unpredictable. Despite Pluto's orbit seeming erratic, this wobbling helps keep it moving smoothly over extended periods. The VZK wobbling shows that, even though things in space appear wild and unpredictable, patterns and rules maintain some control. These forces help stabilize Pluto's orbit, ensuring that it doesn't collide with Neptune or drift off course. This three-body problem is crucial to understanding how these orbits change due to the way space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant worlds and their stars. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, 
Despite the stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is indeed irregular, with small deviations in initial conditions leading to huge differences over many years. However, these characteristics of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long time spans. In fact, looking at the disturbances from later computerized models has helped us understand how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, affect Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't alone in this. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These studies show that Jupiter's immense gravity is powerful enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for a long time, possibly even for an extended period. So perhaps Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These idiosyncrasies are essential for keeping everything in place. Without these factors, the solar system as we know it would be a much harsher place. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussions about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the nearby solar system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of harmony through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of constant observation and study of these characteristics to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often forces us to confront the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital disorder, which refers to the fragile dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly demonstrated for Pluto. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can dramatically alter its long-term orbit. Using automated simulations has been enormously helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to show how Pluto and other space objects, like Neptune, pull on each other. By tweaking small details in the simulations, space researchers can see how even tiny changes can make a huge difference in where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these simulations showed something interesting about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like non-concurrent libration and orbital precession to keep it stable, its orbit can still be inconsistent and unusual. If you start with just a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking completely different after only a few years. Yet, despite this turmoil, Pluto's orbit remains stable over immense timescales, like billions of years. This means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a sort of order to it, even though it appears chaotic at first. Predicting celestial movements, especially when they involve irregular orbits like Pluto's, is a huge challenge. The inherent irregularity of these systems means that long-term predictions are often filled with uncertainties. While numerical models provide excellent tools for understanding and predicting the future movements of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive abilities. These models heavily rely on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any small mistake or distortion can lead to vastly different outcomes making accurate predictions a daunting task. Beyond the turbulent nature of planetary orbits, Pluto reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made significant progress in understanding space, Pluto's case serves as a reminder of how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Grasping the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit gives valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can significantly affect the stability and direction of other bodies within the system. So why are leading astrophysicists recently raising concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces working to prevent such an event from happening, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a key figure in advancing cosmology, offers an intriguing perspective on the mysteries of our solar system particularly the fascinating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, 
offers insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the unexplored corners of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's renaming is based on the ever-growing understanding of our solar system. He views the renaming not as a diminishment but as a significant adjustment in line with our evolving comprehension of the various bodies orbiting our sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and change. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much there is still to discover in space. The fascination with these questions keeps the study of space so captivating. However, despite Tyson's optimism, his thoughts on Pluto's potential crash with Neptune paint a different picture. His concerns about the fate of Pluto's orbit suggest that we may still have some mysteries to uncover. Will Pluto crash into Neptune? Or is this just another moment of confusion in the ever-changing universe of space? Only time and further investigation will tell. For now, we are left with a deeper curiosity about how little we still know about our own solar system. We continue to study these celestial anomalies with the goal of uncovering more of the mysteries that lie beyond. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune crash raises yet another question about the puzzling and captivating universe in which we exist. The potential for an incident between Pluto and Neptune raises fascinating questions about the dynamics of the solar system as it challenges our conventional understanding of planetary stability. The idea that two celestial bodies with such vastly different characteristics could collide is both unsettling and captivating, especially considering the current relative strength of their orbits. Given that Pluto is situated in the outer reaches of the solar system, far from the major planets, and Neptune is itself a gas giant with a strong gravitational field, the ramifications of such a collision would be astounding for how we understand gravitational interactions and the evolution of the nearby solar system. To understand the dynamics of a potential impact, one must first consider the composition and properties of the two planets. Pluto, despite being a dwarf planet, contains various elements and compounds believed to exist in a frozen state due to the extremely cold conditions of the outer solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and it has an atmosphere made mostly of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. In contrast, Neptune, a gas giant, is composed mainly of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements, with a deep, dense atmosphere. A collision between such disparate bodies would significantly affect their structure and behavior, potentially creating an event visible across vast astronomical distances. What makes this hypothetical impact especially intriguing is the influence of other planets and bodies in the solar system. While Neptune's gravity plays a dominant role in keeping Pluto's orbit stable, it is not the only factor at play. The presence of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is another critical component. Jupiter's massive mass, strong gravitational field, and gravitational influence provide a stabilizing effect on Pluto's orbit, preventing it from wandering too far into Neptune's zone. Additionally, Saturn's gravitational influence further complicates the dynamics of the outer solar system, making it unlikely that a catastrophic event will occur between Pluto and Neptune. However, despite the apparent risks, ongoing research has also shown that the relationship between Pluto and Neptune is not as straightforward as a direct collision course. The gravitational resonance between the two planets, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three, creates a kind of cosmic lock that prevents them from coming into direct contact. This resonance is a key reason why Pluto and Neptune's orbits, while crossing in the vast expanse of space, have never resulted in a collision.